Coming up on today's telecast. But I can't help these headaches, strange headaches. How do you feel? I feel so good. I'm telling you, I feel good. She had nothing, and you prayed for her. And how much did you get? Twenty-five thousand dollars. That man sent me some spring water. I drank it, and I was in obedience and did everything he told me to do in that letter. God has healed me. I'm eight years drug and alcohol free. I'm a living testimony. God has used Reverend Peter Popoff throughout his entire life and ministry to bring miraculous deliverance to hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Stay tuned as Reverend Popoff ministers, prays, and reveals the power of a living God able to change your life and bring you into great joy, peace, health, and supernatural abundance. Now, get ready for God to touch you with His miracle working power. God is touching hurting people around the world, and now He wants to touch you with His miracle working power. I'm Reverend Peter Popoff. I've traveled around the world sharing the gospel. That means good news with people from all walks of life, and I've witnessed the most astonishing miracles. I've seen turnarounds when all prognosticators said it was hopeless. I've seen healings when doctors have given up and said there's no hope. I've seen God turn the most impossible situations around. And I believe that God is no respecter of persons. What he's done for so many others, he wants to do for you. Now, I want to share the miracle spring water with you. I want to give it to you. I want to give you the divine leading and direction that God has given me. Steps of faith that you can take to see many miracles in your life. Healing, deliverance, supernatural prosperity. I'm going to tell you more about it. You're going to see the results that we've experienced all around the world. Now lift up both of your hands and say hallelujah. Now just wave your hands unto the Lord. Would you do it? Glory to God. Sister, did you come in with pain in your body? Lord, let your healing power flow through them now. Let's move around a little bit. Yes. Thank the Lord. The pain she come in, she no longer has. The pain has left her body. She came in on the pain. But bless God, she's not on that pain anymore. I fell like two years ago on the um, outside on the ice and my head had been feeling really, really strange and I went to the doctor, but I kept having these headaches, the strange headaches. How do you feel now? I feel so good. I'm telling you, I feel good. I feel so good. This lady used the Miracle Spring water Yes. And she had nothing. She was homeless. She was broke. She was destitute. But after using the Miracle Spring Water, what did God do? God gave me a home, a job, money overflowing, a car. I just love him so and much. And you are blessed. And I'm blessed. Thank blessed. you, Jesus. What did he do, Liz? He gave her money, a home, a car, and she's blessed. <laughs> she was destitute after she used the Miracle And a job. And a job. Well, uh, you told me about debt cancellation because I you sent we were in contact since last year, and um, I I felt led of the spirit to send for my credit report, and all those bills on my credit report were erased, and and then you told me that I was going to get a windfall of money, and the UPS sent me in the mail a check for fifteen thousand dollars. My husband, I used the spring water on his hip and his hip is healed. Also, I've been taking blood pressure medication for 25 years, and since I used the spring water, is my blood pressure is normal. And you couldn't walk? I could not walk. And she, she started writing to you and agreeing with you and following your instructions, and you can walk now, right? I can walk, I can walk, I can walk. 2011, January, February, I can walk. I could not walk. In September 2010, I could not walk. But now I can walk. It's going to rock the river pump 
wrote. He wrote me. He wrote me. So gave me instructions to do, and I did them. And now I can walk. Your grandmother was very sick. What was about her? Yes, she was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer in January. Stage four lung cancer. Yes. Like and she was wasting the worst kind of lung cancer. And she was wasting away. How much did yes, she? Yes, she only weighed 100 pounds after radiation. Oh. And so I started writing to you. Well, we've been writing since, Je since June, and all type of things have happened, but this is the most important. Um, now she's, she's at 126. She, well, before she was bedridden, she couldn't operate her, her limbs. She couldn't move. She couldn't do nothing for herself. Now she's home. She's like 126 pounds. She's dancing. She's running up and down. She's playing bingo again. <laughs> Call the toll-free number and receive the Miracle Spring Water and the Anointed Faith Tools. I said, what happened on August the 10th of 2000, that was the day of my stroke. My husband brought the spring water up and I drank it. And I'm speaking today, I had no speech, totally paralyzed, and now I'm testifying. Two weeks ago, I got $8,600 in paid mortgage y'all. How much did you get? Uh, 23000 Reverend Peter Popoff held great crusades across America and the body of Christ experienced miracle divine transfers and debt cancellations through the miracle spring water and the anointed faith tool. Right now, all my bills are paid in full. How much did you get? $25,000. What happened with your daughter? She had cancer from the uterus. And you used the miracle spring water? Yes, I did. And she went to the doctor, and what did the doctor no say? Cancer. No more cancer. How much was that lump sum of money? $25,000. How much money? It's $41,000 from someone I didn't know. Everything you say in those letters is to the team from the Holy Ghost. $6,500 and some odd dollars. Divine transfer into her bank account. You said that my miracle would come between the 16th of September or the 18th. When I came home after work that day, I received in the mail what I had won for $2,274,000. $2,200,000! Million. I got a phone call the next day. Told me I had $4,000 waiting on me. And I didn't even know where it was coming from. Constellation, debt constellation, $50,000. $50,000. I was three months behind on my mortgage. I got a call Monday evening saying I got the money to pay your mortgage. Clean up to December. It was $77,000. On July the 8th, I received $5,000. Let's believe God, along with Reverend Peter Popoff, that this year will be another year of purpose, favor, and financial fulfillment. Call now for your miracle spring water and the anointed faith tools. I feel a woman who just had several surgeries. The first one was unsuccessful, and the physicians went in and tried to correct the mistake that they made the first time, but now you're not healing properly, and you've just been in almost constant pain. The medication helps very, very little. God wants to finish the work. God can do what man cannot do. I challenge you to use the miracle spring water. Another woman watching me, you have three children. You're perplexed. You don't know what to do because you just don't have enough money. The money that's coming in is too little to support you. And I want to tell you, I'm telling you now, under the unction of the Holy Ghost, you're going to see a $200 a week increase. It's coming to you. You're going to think of this man of God when you see $200 each and every week come to you from an unexpected, unknown, supernatural force. Uh, another woman, I see you in total awe and astonishment. You're looking at your bank balance uh, on your computer, and you see exactly $3,100 that you didn't have any recollection of, that you didn't really put there. But I want to tell you, God has given you a divine transfer. And you're going to check this out with the bank. They'll say, it's all right. You can take that money out. Glory to God, you're going to be amazed. I see another lady, you're suffering right now in excruciating pain. You're watching me laying there on the sofa and you've been suffering for at least two weeks. It's been over two weeks. I'm going to pray for you at the end of this program, and God is going to drive all of the pain from your body, all of it, and you're going to feel like you haven't felt in years and years and years. There's another woman, your son is on drugs. He's hanging around with the wrong company. God is just about to intervene in his life. He's broken your heart. I can see tears running down your cheeks. God says, 
to you right now, I'm going to heal the hurt places. I'm going to heal the wounded places. I'm going to bring your family back together. I'm going to do the impossible. I'm going to reach into the heart of this young man and touch him where no man can touch him. And I'm going to draw him unto myself. I'm going to give him deliverance. And there's going to be joy and peace in your home that you've never seen before. I see someone else, you have cancer. You've already got the diagnosis of cancer and they're just about ready to begin treatment. You've been so afraid and full of anxiety and fear. You can be at peace. God is going to do a miracle in your life and turn that situation around. I feel so many others have cancer. You need to use the miracle spring water. You've heard the testimonies, awesome, amazing testimonies of miracles, miraculous healing and deliverance as people have used the miracle spring water. Take advantage of this miracle moment. It's not an accident that you're watching me right now. Get the miracle spring water. Pick up the telephone. Call me. Let me send you the miracle spring water and also the amazing faith tool that God has inspired me to send to so many people to see their debts supernaturally and miraculously wiped out, erased, completely done away with. I believe that you're next. I'll tell you, some of you think you've come to the end, but you've only come to a bend. God has already spoken to somebody told them where you're at, amen, told you the color of the blouse that you're wearing. And I'll tell you, he's going to put you at the right place at the right time. I said the right place at the right time, baby. The right place at the right time, baby. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And until you get rid of those bills, amen, you're not going to be free. And I know that some of you have been faithful, some of you have sown seed, but you know, you are just caught in a financial trap. And I'll tell you, I believe that God is going to let you see that trap destroyed tonight. Amen, that financial trap. produces crisis after crisis after crisis after crisis but bless God no more Woo. hallelujah I tell you people are getting shocked in this place pastor this sister she was in foreclosure yes she couldn't pay her mortgages and she wrote you and you told her watch out for debt cancellation and how much debt did they cancel um, I got a letter um, after they modified the loan. Um, in January 11th of 2011, they wrote a letter to me canceling 266,000 of the principal. And um, they also canceled $83,000 of the interest. So it was about $350,000. Stand up on your feet. Are you in pain right now? How many of you believe she's been in pain long enough? Just a minute, here it comes. Ooh, the anointing of God and the power of God is flowing through her. He, oh, 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 there she goes. She was in pain when she came in here, but she's dancing now. L look at that. She got shocked. Don't you believe God will let you walk without that cane? You believe it? God's going to give you back your sense of balance. He's going to restore your muscles, your nerves. You're going to feel like a kid again. Amen? Some people say, I don't believe it. All right, you'll have aches and pains everywhere. Can I throw this up on the stage? Is that all right? Uh, yeah. All right. She said, it's all right. Oh, there she goes. Go ahead. Somebody praise the Lord. Pastor, you wrote this sister and you told her to mark on her calendar 30 days from the day she got your letter. And then you called her. And what happened on day 30? 
When I got home, I had won $5,000. And when I checked my answer machine, Peter Popoff Boris was the only answer machine. And he said, did you do what I asked you to do? And my husband couldn't believe it. And we were broke. We didn't have any money, and I won the $5,000. She got a $5,000. It was a divine transfer, sister. He, she had nothing, and you prayed for her. And how much did you get? $25,000. You told me my blessing was going to start on December the 2nd. A friend of mine went to the bank on December the 2nd and wrote me a check for $25,000. Six years ago, my mom brought me here. She would always say, you got to see my man, Peter Popoff. And I was saying, oh, OK. She would you know, always tell us that God really worked through Peter Popoff. And she was saying that he is a true man of God. And um, I said, OK. She got tickets. And she said, come on, I want you to go. And at this time, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. This was six years ago. And I came here in the same room. I left my number, and he wrote me and told me that God was going to heal me from breast cancer. And I stand here six years later. I'm healed from breast cancer. How many years were you a drug addict? Oh, I was a drug addict for like 30 years. Alcohol and heroin. And with that spring rod, this man is truly a man of God. Do y'all hear me? I love you, Peter. And I thank God for you. I was in that tomb, hollering out, and that man sent me some spring water. I drank it, and I was in obedience and did everything he told me to do in that letter. God has healed me. I'm eight years drug and alcohol free. I'm a living testimony. God can do it. I tell you, the same God who created these spinal columns can make them new. The same God who made these hips can make them new. Lord Jesus. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. She doesn't need this old cane anymore. Amen. God. Can, can I just make the devil mad? Can I throw it up there? Throw it. She said, throw it. Woo. I tell you, that just burns the devil up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, that's a blow. A Look at that man go. I'll tell you, Woo. the devil has tried to block every open door, but the devil's a liar. And you're going to see that voice of yours not only restored, but God's going to make it even better than it was. And you're going to sing, you're going to give glory to God, and you're going to see that God will make you a blessing. Huh? Yes, I know a song. Sing it. Just a few words, a bar or two. One of these mornings <laughs> won't be long. You look for me, and I'll be gone, Lord. Going to a place where There's someone watching me right now. You've been suffering with dizziness. I don't know if you're on a cane or a walker at the present time, but vertigo. I see your balance is upset. And sometimes you can hardly get up and walk at all. God is going to touch you at the end of this program when I pray. If you'll just get ready, open up your heart and get ready. Someone else, you've had excruciating stomach problems, acid reflex, and you're taking medication, but the medication doesn't do much good. It comes back. It overrides the medication. God is going to touch you at the end of this program as I pray. I want you to get ready. Just if you've seen so many people get up out of their wheelchairs and run without their canes and crutches and breathe without their ventilators and with their oxygen, God is going to touch you and set you free and make you every with whole. I see someone else. You just are very discouraged because your family has broken up and the spirit of depression has come upon you and that heaviness just, you can't shake it. You just can't get rid of it. It just drags you down, weighs you down. The Bible says that the anointing will destroy the yoke. As I pray and as I send this prayer out over the airwaves, you're going to see that heaviness roll away. It's going to be broken once and for all. 
and I'll tell you, you're going to walk in freedom and liberty and victory. You've been called to do God's work, and you've had a ministry and a gift that the enemy has laid dormant. God is going to stir it up, and his love and power is going to flow through you. People are going to be astonished when they look at you and they see the joy of God and the peace of God. They're going to want what you have. And so many others right now, you have loved ones that are sick, that are in pain, and your heart is grieving and broken. I just believe that God's power is going to flow toward them. You could stand proxy on their behalf. You could stand proxy on their behalf. I want to send you the miracle spring water. I want to tell you how you can use it to see not just one, but many miracles, spiritual, physical, and financial in your life. You've seen the testimonies. You've heard the testimonies. Thousands of people delivered, healed, set free, witnessed a miracle, divine transfers. You could be next. Don't miss this miracle moment. Call Peter Popoff. Pick up that telephone and make the phone call. You're next in line for a blessing. This is your moment. Get ready. What's wrong with your legs? I have a numbness all the time. All the time, you want God to take it away? I want God to take it clear all from my body. How many of you believe God will just give him a total overhaul job? You believe God still gives overhaul jobs today? Amen, he's gonna give it to you. He's gonna drive the pain from those lungs and touch those legs and you're gonna have feeling tonight for the first time in a long, long time. And I'll tell you, you're gonna be a witness for Jesus. You're gonna be a blessing. Not only is God going to heal you and touch you, but you're going to touch others through your testimony, through your faith. Ooh, there it is. Just stand behind the bleed. Jesus. I want you just to take off and just run a little bit. You can do it now. Look, look at that. He's going to take off and run. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, if you've been miserable and in pain and you were healed, you'd be dancing too, amen? Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know who did that? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He's Look. the almighty God. He's the only one who could do it. Yeah. Look at the tears of joy flowing down his cheeks. And you have been writing to Cynthia for some time, and you wrote her a letter just recently that said she was going to get a sum of money in the mail. And just this morning, what, you couldn't sleep? I couldn't sleep. It was about 3.30, and I got up, and I saw him on the TV, and then I started looking, and something just told me to check my account, and there was 1900 in my account. Pastor, this man's daughter was watching television, and he saw, or she saw you on TV. And she said, Dad, come here. You got to see this guy. And they wrote in and they got the miracle spring water. And what did Peter write to you and tell you? He told me I was going to win $20,000 from the lottery. And I won $20,000. $20,000. Every time I'm going through something in my life, I always get a letter from him. And it's the same thing he's, he's telling me about, the same thing I'm going through. First um, contact with him, I phoned for the Miracle Spring Water. I got it the same day that I sat down and I asked the good Lord to give me a sign whether or not I should end my life. And then after I put down the pills and I went to the mail, there was a spring water. And I said, Lord, I got your answer. That's why I'm here today. I see home on the verge of foreclosure. God's going to turn that situation around. My wife just read a testimony of a man whose home was in foreclosure. He sold it for $58,000. No, he had $58,000 left over after he paid off all of his debts. You see, I told you at the beginning of the program, Jesus is a master of the turnaround. He's going to turn your life around, turn your situation around. Make a way for you where in the natural there seemeth none. Oh, I feel led to pray right now. I just feel an awesome, a special anointing, a powerful anointing that will destroy the yoke. If you'll just reach out to me right now and touch the screen, you're going to see God's power come to you right there where you are. You're going to see God heal that broken body, drive the pain out of those joints, drive the cancer 
out of your body. Heal your loved ones. Save and deliver them from the snares of the enemy. And bring your family back together and make you whole. I just feel this power flowing to you now. Will you come a little closer? Will you let Reverend Peter Popoff pray for you now? Heavenly Father, oh, oh, I feel so impressed. Come a little closer. Touch my hands. You're going to feel the divine energy and power flow to you right there where you are. Heavenly Father, right now, in the miracle name of Jesus, I take authority over sickness, disease, infirmity. Lord, let this mighty anointing and healing power literally shatter the shackles, uh, destroy the yoke, drive the cancer and the pain and the sickness from these bodies. Lord, you see the children, they are grieving. Those who are watching right now, bring them home, deliver them. Let peace, your peace, your joy flood the homes of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And I thank you, Lord. I know that it's done. I know that it's done. Now, I know that you're going to feel great new joy, health, strength. Many of you need a little bit of help. I can help you not because of who I am, but because of whose I am. I want to send you the miracle spring water. I want to minister to you through the mail, and I want to pray. I'll stand in agreement with you until you see total and complete victory. I'll send you the miracle.